Today on our 2010 Ford Explorer, we're going to show you how to install the Roadmaster Bulb and Socket Kit with bulbs, part number RM-155. We'll hook our tow vehicle up to the front here. We'll start by turning on the tail lights. With those working, let's check the left blinker. Then our left brake. Now our right blinker. And our right brake. Now, as you can see, we mounted our plug in the position. We went right on top of the bumper structure there. That way we wouldn't have any issues once we had everything on and trying to get it installed. We're gonna take care of getting our bracket mounted for where our wiring is gonna go up here in the front. Now, a lot of times like this bracket on the top side, we need to elevate it just slightly. So we just took a little piece, kind of bent it up there to where it'll kind of elevate it up where it'll be appear out from behind our bumper. Now for the socket wiring kit that we're putting in, we need this to be connected up here at the front. It needs to make a detour by the braking system that we're using and then head to the back of the vehicle. So what we're gonna do is just take the majority of it, pass it right down through to where we can find it on the underside of the vehicle and get that ran back there where we want it. You can see it just pop out there below the car. And we'll take our loop. We're gonna leave a little bit up here on top so we can get that connected. And then just run it right back. Slack out that we need. There we go. Right over there to our plug side. I'm gonna pass that through the bracket. And we're gonna be trimming that off. just behind that four pole plug. And we'll bring in the rubber cap that's on the back of the socket. That's gonna slide over all four of our wires. Now we need to strip the end off of each one here. And then we'll put them in their respective spots here on the back. The white wire, that's gonna be our ground. Next one we have is TM, that's trailer marker, or that's gonna be our brown wire. We'll skip one there. We're gonna to go to RT, that's the right turn signal. It'll be our green wire. And then finally our yellow wire, that's gonna be our left turn signal. Now, while it's not a necessary step, since these wires are gonna just kind of be hanging out there exposed, you'll be able to see them behind the grill. Let's take some electrical tape and just wrap them up as neatly as we can here. Now, up here on the top, you can see we've just routed our wire right here. So I'm gonna use a zip tie just to hold the slack in it that we need right up here on top. Now we're gonna start routing our wire towards the rear of our vehicle. We wanna avoid any significant sources of heat, any pinch points, any sharp metal edges, anything that might damage the wire, essentially. You see how we're just kinda of going over top of that half shaft location. We don't want it to get near there. And we'll go right up from there into kind of the area the spare tire is. Now let's use a couple more zip ties. And... Now we'll trim the plug end off of the end of our four pole wiring. 
Then we'll start pulling each wire apart to separate them. Now we'll use our green, our brown, and our white wire. We're gonna run this up behind the passenger side tail light. To do this, we're gonna use a little pull wire. We've got airline tubing here. You could use a coat hanger, stiff piece of wire. But you just wanna tape the three of them off. That way when we remove our tail light, we'll be able to pull them up to us. Now we'll stick them up in the small slot here and kind of direct it up towards the bottom of our tail light housing. Now we're gonna take the two screws out of the side of the tail light here that require the eight millimeter socket. Now let's pull that housing out. Now we wanna separate the two clips on the outside here that kind of hold that tail light in place. Now let's pull our plugs off the back side here. They've all just got little push tabs on them. Let's set those aside. Now let's bring our pull wire on through. Now with our housing off, you can see we've pulled that lower light out. And we're gonna go right about here and drill just a small pilot hole in. When we do this, we'll kind of hold everything upwards. That way, any particles will have a better chance of falling down and hitting the ground rather than going inside of our light. Now let's use our one inch hole saw and finish making our hole. Now let's take our socket and kind of bend our tabs out a little bit. For this application, we've gotta be pretty pretty careful about how, how we put it in there. Our bulbs are gonna to wanna to touch. So we're gonna put half of the socket inside of the light and we're gonna use these teeth on the other half of the socket to keep it from going in. So we'll bring about the top half of the teeth in, let those make good contact, as you can see right there. And then we're gonna use the bottom teeth to kind of hold out on it slightly. And we're just gonna seal that up with some silicone to give us a nice seal. That'll leave our bulbs separated just enough to where they'll both work properly on the front side. Now I'm just gonna use some real RTV silicone. We're gonna go around there really well. Make sure it gets a good hold. All right, now that should do it. So let this one sit to the side and let that sealant have time to kind of firm up while we take care of drilling out our other light. Now that we've got our sockets installed in our lights, let's get our wiring ready. We're gonna start by taking just enough brown wire for what we need here. We're gonna strip both ends of that back. And kind of place those together and give them a little twist, to kind of make them from two wires into one wire. Yellow butt connector is gonna slide down on that. Get it crimped down. Anytime we make a crimp, we want to make sure we've got good connection there. Let's do the same for our white wire here. And now for the green one, we're just going to trim that off. We only need one end of this. We'll strip it, and this one's going to get one of our blue butt connectors. Slide that on and crimp it. Now, for your green wire, I recommend tucking it down here because we don't want it to fall back in and disappear on us. The other ones are gonna kind of be held in place by their other wires here. The end of our wires here where we still have our fish line attached, I'm gonna trim the green off, leave the brown and white on there. And then we'll wrap that right back down to the underside of the vehicle. See if we reach under, we'll be able to find it there. And we're gonna pull that brown and white slack back down through. 
Now let's strip the end off of each of the wires coming from our light. The black one, I'm gonna strip it off extra long and I'm gonna fold it over. That's gonna give that yellow butt connector more meat or more wire to grab onto. I'll do the same thing for my brown wire and then we'll strip off just a normal length for the red wire. Now our red wire gets connected to our green wire. That's gonna be for our passenger side turn signal. The black wire, it gets connected to our white wire. That's gonna be for our ground. And then lastly, the brown wire, it gets connected to our brown wire. That's for our running lights. All right, now let's use just a little tape and wrap those up. All right, now we're ready to put our tail light back in. All right, right back into its spot. Now we're gonna add our yellow wire onto the brown and white wire that we passed out from under the car. Let's get these over to the driver's side. We're just going to run them right along that bumper structure there. We'll just keep working it on across here. We're just going to use zip ties as we go to keep everything up nice and secure. Right up over the frame rail there. Perfect, now let's make our connections up there. Now for our wiring on this side, we're gonna take our yellow wire. We'll cut that off, strip the end. And on this one, we're gonna add a little blue butt connector. Now let's do our brown wire. Same treatment on this one. And now for the white one, we're gonna do it the same way we did the white one on the other side. We're going to strip it, or cut it, then we'll strip both ends. I was going to get a yellow butt connector. Now let's take about Oh, about five, six, seven inches of the tag in the one that's connected to our pull wire. Cut. Strip. And this time we're going to add on a ring terminal. Then we can take a self-tapping screw and we'll get it anchored right into the body. Now again, our black wire, that's gonna go to our white wire. And since we've got that larger butt connector, we need to strip some extra off. Our brown's gonna go to our brown and our red to our yellow. Now we're gonna tape this side up just like the other side. We'll just slide our connectors back on. Get our bolts started and get them secured. That's gonna to complete today's installation of the Roadmaster Bulb and Socket Kit, part number RM-155 on our 2010 Ford Explorer.